What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a great weekend. I just got back from the most epic adventure. My good friend from high school, it's his, it was his bachelor party, and we did this, had this epic adventure upstate PA on the border of New York. He's a huge compound up there with a bunch of houses. So cool. And we stayed up there for the last, you know, 36 hours or whatever and went like whitewater rafting and we're just, we were just out in the wilderness and black bears everywhere, trees everywhere. And I never realized how rejuvenating that is. So like go out there and take a hike, be out in nature. If you're feeling stressed or crazy, like get out in nature and around all that fresh air and oxygen and you feel unbelievable. So with that said, I want to share something. My one buddy was talking to me about like my positive videos and my positive inspiration. He's like, I really want to know though, like I always see you so positive in person and on, on, you know, in videos, whatever. Do you get down and stressed and upset? And yeah, I do. I absolutely do. But how I look at it like is like this. I, I feel like one of my gifts to the world is like sharing positivity and bringing people up, making people happy. Like bringing people's mood up and inspiring people. I like that. So I feel that commitment like while I'm on this earth to help do that for people. And I think the secret is not never getting upset. I get frustrated and upset. Absolutely. But the secret, oh, they're letting fireworks off. But the secret is your comeback rate. Like how quickly can you get back to like a good positive state, you know? So like, yeah, I'll get down about something, this and that, or ah, I'm like pulling my hair out. But like, how quickly do you get back to that? So that's my thought. Like, no, I'm not perfect. I don't, you know what I mean? I get upset and stressed just like anybody else does, but it's your comeback rate. Like how quickly can you get back to like the positive rocking self, you know? So with that said, that connects to what I want to say really quickly in this short video, the power of exercising your mind. It's mind blowing how important it is to exercise this just like you exercise your body and you work on your fitness, your physical self, you got to you have to exercise your mind or else you will start to lose it. Like a few years ago at my job, I switched roles and the job didn't require as much memorization or creative thinking and I started to like lose it a little. I was like I'm, I'm forgetting things more. Like, am I just getting old? Am I losing my mind? No, it was. I wasn't exercising it. You have to exercise it. So whether that's like practicing your public speaking or memorizing things or thinking of creative things outside the box, like me doing these videos, this is helping me fire my thoughts quicker and be able to think on my feet better, you know? So you got to practice that. You have to really put it as a focus point. So think about what you can do each day to kind of stretch your mind, expand your mind, like exercise a little. It's really cool. So um, with that said, I mean, I saw a quote about the mind. It was like, your thoughts in your mind are your most powerful asset. Take care of it. You know, like really take care of your mind, just like you would take care of your body, your health, you like eat a good diet, whatever, like, and you'll see the difference as you get sharpened, as you sharpen this tool up here. It's really cool. So with that said, have an unbelievable week. I got so much going on tomorrow, Monday. So I'm dropping this video tonight. Keep positive. Keep all the good vibes going. Let's rock and roll. Here we go.